lubricates cushions and strengthens joints, so your hard-working knees can keep working hard. Give your joints what aspirin can't move free. A mother's hateful words. Next Judge Judy. Don't miss the King of Queens. Tonight on CBS, it's all here. Y'all finished? Yep. Took a while, but installed the new light. Knocked out that dent. She's as good as new. Well, I'm sorry you had to come all the way out here just to help me out with this stupid mess. Look, it's no problem. Well, you finna godsend. Thank you so much, Aaron. How much do I owe you? Oh, nothing. No, I, I scored the new light at the junkyard. And I can drop the old one out there, too. Oh, well, no, I can do that for you. All right, thanks. Look, I can help you out tomorrow if you need anything else, but work just called. I got to split. OK. Well, I would hug you and try and put this discreetly yeah, in your no, 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 seriously, no. Aaron, please take it as a tip. You really did save my life. OK, thanks. You know, but I can think of a hundred different things that are worse than crashing your sister's car into a tree. Anyway, Katie, it's perfect now. Nobody will have a clue that you got into an accident. Hey, has Katie stopped by today? Uh, no, she didn't. Is it me or is it really noisy in here? Yeah, we've got you in the ER again. The ward you were assigned to is pretty tight. But I'm gonna get you in a room as soon as possible. Oh man, I don't, don't want to go to a private room. I I gotta get back to to work, man. Yeah. Lucky for me, I work right down the hall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, look, man, we'll, we'll we'll probably release you in a day or two. But as for walking, well, that's that's gonna take a while. Waldo, the dough has risen, my man, and the baker delivers to you this afternoon. Yeah, whatever, just be there. I gotta go. Barbara! Sorry, we got all the kitchen stuff we need right now, but you might want to try the diner down the street. Uh -huh. I came across an ad of the business classifieds that I thought might be of interest to you. Nothing you come across could interest me. Remember that beauty shop that Rose was gonna dedicate her life to? She's getting rid of it. Don't you think you should think this through just a little bit? I've been thinking so much lately, Mitz, my head's gonna explode. Now, I am moving to Paris to marry Paul. I can't take the shop with me. But you don't just walk away from the dream, Rose. I mean, look, do a sublet or something, okay? Don't just give it up. If I have things that are gonna work out with Paul and me this time, it's gotta be all or nothing. I love this life, the clients, the work. I love Paul more. When's he coming back from Paris? I don't know, but it better be soon because I am getting antsy. Jen! You here? Got big news. Hi. Welcome back. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Could you at least try and be a little enthusiastic? Oh. Congratulations. What I do? <laughs> did I did I do something? No. You know, in fact, you didn't do anything. You didn't even bother to tell your sister that you got engaged. Or your little brother. You just left a pathetic little note. Jen, I'm sorry. I... You know, just tell me the truth, Paul me. Proposing to Rose, this is some kind of, some kind of setup, right? You finally got her where you want her. You're going to pay her back for what she and Dusty did to you. Tell me that that's what you're doing. Paul, you're not really planning on marrying her, are you?
As the World Turns is sponsored by Splenda, the no-calorie sweetener. What are little girls made of? Splenda and Spice and everything nice. Little girls and boys are very sweet when they get the sweet things they love. And now soft drinks and ice cream, juices and cookies, and lots of treats are being made with Splenda, the no-calorie sweetener made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. Splenda is making life a little sweeter for everyone. You kids are working hard. Yeah, Dad says if we really put our shoulder into it, we can earn a trip to Walt Disney World. Disney World? Well, your dad told me that with Visa, kids get in for free. Oh, really? <sighs> Use your Visa to purchase a Walt Disney World vacation, and for each adult, one kid three to nine stays and plays free, but only with your Visa. Every night, something magical and grand happens inside bedrooms across the land. As parents hold their babies tight, they place in their arms a warm and gentle light. A glowworm who turns hugs into calming light and sound, helping babies fall asleep so you can lay them down. Then Slumbertime Soother sings a bedtime song bringing peace to babies all night long. And once their job is done, out goes the soothing light to bring sweet dreams for many more nights. Glowworm, only from Play School. On the third day of her period, the supers were just too big, and the lights were too small. But the regulars, she found, were just right. New Tampax Pearl Multipacks. Three sizes, just right. Someone's been using my tampons. Do you ever lie about your age? No, I'm only 28. Fool even your toughest critics. Olay Total Effect 7X fights seven signs of aging. It also moisturizes better than these major department store brands. Olay Total Effect 7X. Today's menu, juicy pomegranate, persimmon, and lychee surprise. Succulent kiwi, kumquat, and fig delight. And the exotic fruit extracts of blackberry, avocado, and mango sensation. It's an organic experience that's positively delicious. I hope she saves some for me. Herbal Essences Fruit Fusions. Have you had your daily serving? And for yet another tasty experience, try Fruit Fusions Body Wash. He's the last man Colin Powell wants to see on television. You'll know why when you hear what he has to say about Saddam's weapons. 60 Minutes 2, tonight at 8, 7 Central. Facing the possibility of breast cancer. My personal story this week on The Early Show. I don't know what happened. Because you used to want me and Rose to be together. Well, I had a selfish reason. And the last time I, I saw that selfish reason, I, uh... He was in a compromising position with a very naked woman. Dusty would never have made you happy. You know, we're talking about you here. With you, I am not so selfish. I want you to be happy. Rose makes me happy. But if you have to go all the way to Paris to make this marriage work, don't you think there's something wrong with that? There is something wrong. There is something terribly wrong. Her name is Barbara Ryan. You know, what about Will? Huh? You, you didn't even bother to say, hey, squirt, I'm gonna blow you off. No, you just left him. You're right, the ball game, I, I totally forgot. <sighs> Since when did Rose become the most important thing in your life? No. More important than me, more important than your little brother? It's not that she's more important, Jennifer. She dumped you for Dusty. A lot of things have come between me and Rose. At the end of the day, it's almost always Barbara Ryan with her evil mind and her scheming bottomless checkbook. You know, I think that the world would be a better place without Barbara Ryan. And a lot of people would be happier. Most importantly, me and Rose. This ad proves that Rose is planning on leaving the country with Paul. I thought you cared about her. Come on, stop acting with me, would you? We both know you hate Rose, so what's your bottom line? You here because you want to hire me again to break him up? Because <laughs> you might not have heard I'm out of the gigolo business. No kidding. And I 
I'm no longer going to throw good money after bad maneuvers. No, my mistake in hiring you did lead to a couple of truths. One, Rose D'Angelo does not deserve to love my son. He deserves someone much better. That's sweet. And two? Two. Paul's a fine man. But somehow, beyond comprehension, he doesn't seem to have what it takes to make her happy. <laughs> Hardly the right stuff, huh? And you're a very concerned mother, trying to spare her son the heartache of having to try again. Now you're catching on. The problem is, our girl Rose is positive that your son still loves her. Ah. She bet her life on it. Yeah, but would you? I mean, do you really think that Paul has forgiven the woman who betrayed him? I don't think so. What I think is that he doesn't want her. He just wants to take her from you. So what? Uh, what's done is done. And here, I thought you cared about her. No, no, you see, the way I see it, you have a decision to make. You need to decide if you are willing to stand by and allow Paul to use Rose to exact revenge on you. What do you want me to say? Those two are together. The kid's out of the picture. Oh, well, then, there you go. You've made your decision. You're gonna let Paul ruin the life of the woman you love. Fine by me. Man, that Snyder kid is a wizard. I'd have never looked at the front end of that car and guessed it had been wrapped around Mike Kasanoff. I should not have had that car fixed, Henry. I've just tampered with evidence. No, no, what you did was you bought yourself some time to think. Time to think about what? I hit Mike with Margot's car. Uh, but it, it, accidentally. He could have been killed. Right. Right. And since prosecutors tend to take a dim view of people getting drugged up on prescription meds and just running over pedestrians, even by accident, there is no way I'm going to let you take the witness stand. Oh, I should have just told Margot what happened when I had the chance. Why? Why? So you could be making license plates for the next 20 to 40? I have to tell Mike, too. I have to find a way. No, why? Why? What good would that would do? What? Because when you're all broken up, it helps you to learn the truth. Let me tell you, I've been there. Okay, you've been there, right. But a broken heart is different from broken ribs. I don't care. I have to come clean with this. Okay. With him and then Margot, okay? Will you just take me to the hospital and then drop Margot's car off, please? Sure, sure. Look, I, I really wish, I, I implore you to rethink this whole truth-telling thing, okay? Jail is no fun. I just lost my husband, Henry. I almost killed the one guy who was just trying to care about me. Do you know how terrible I feel? Do you? Compared to this hell, jail seems like a great option to me. All right, I want to wrap this thing up pretty quick, Jack. Yeah. Tell me, how long has it been since anybody ran a gaming racket in this town, anyway? Oh, it's been years. I mean, we've kept things really pretty tight, you know? So, we got a name, place of business. Should be easy. Are you ready to pass yourself off as a typical Yo's customer? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. Hey, smell me. I am not going to oh, smell come you. on. I had sage all morning. I don't want to smell like baby powder. Let's go. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, Look, just you. scruff yourself up a little bit. Throw on half a shot of bourbon as aftershave. Okay, when I spot this Waldo character, I see who he talks to, see who comes looking. Right. right. And if any money changes hands, you nail him. Actually, I'm heading in the club right now. But I thought you said you didn't have to work today. Does this mean you're going to miss the dance? Oh, no, no way. No, Dusty wants me to run some errands. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm there. You got it? Love you. Bye. Okay, but what... Aaron? Are you going to split up, sweetheart? No. Um, Aaron was just going to come over early so I could show him the color of my dress. Ah, for the matching corsage. You've taught him well. Yeah, but it, it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. And is this the creation in which my daughter will begin her reign as homecoming queen? I don't know if it's pretty enough to get me elected for homecoming queen, but yes, it is a very pretty dress. Is it important to you? No. Ah. 
Well, part of me would like to win. Yes. Well, I'm sure it will be you, sweetness. In fact, I am so sure we are going to wait up just so you can come home and tell us how the competition withered in your glow. Well, you don't have to do that. Well, that's what daddies do. Right? Aaron rented a limo and got us a hotel room, so I won't be home till morning. Come on, Nate. You're gonna be late. Okay. Sometimes moms need a little help getting their families going. That's why every morning should begin with Florida orange juice. The best start under the sun. Cholesterol, diet, and exercise aren't always enough. But adding Lipitor can help lower your total cholesterol 29 to 45 percent. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a serious side effect. So take the next step. Ask your doctor if Lipitor is right for you. It's your final three days to get our lowest prices of the season at Kohl's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You'll find our lowest prices of the season in every department throughout the store. It's your final three days to get our lowest prices of the season at Kohl's. Kohl's. Shop happy, leave happy. Say goodbye to that dirty, smelly old sponge. Because now there's new Palmolive dish wipes. Dish wipes are infused with Palmolive dishwashing liquid and are strong enough to clean a full load of dishes. Then just throw them away. New Palmolive dish wipes. Today, I switched pain relievers to the same aspirin my doctor said to take for my heart. You see, my doctor said some pain relievers can sometimes interfere with how aspirin works for my heart. For pain, he said it was safe to take more aspirin. And I found out for myself what a great pain reliever Bear is. Fast, too. So now I take Bear for my heart and Bear for my pain. Aspirin is not appropriate for everyone, so be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Bear, take it for pain, take it for life. Why is Jell-O introducing 100-calorie smoothie snacks? Because something magical happens when you blend just the right amount of fruit with the right amount of milk and just the right amount of smooth. Something that makes people go, mmm. Stop for a second and go, mmm, again. Oh, the spoon wants some more. Give some to the spoon. No, 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 the spoon. Good. New Jell-O smoothie snacks. Because it's magic. Because it's Jell-O. So you're, you're telling me that I'm gonna be laid up for weeks? Come on, man, you gotta look at the big picture. What's that? When that car hit you, it could have killed you. Hi, Mike. Ben. Hey, Katie. Katie? So the nurses told me you got through the surgery really well. Yes, he did. Don't let him tell you any different. Why did he say that? He just told me how long I'm going to be laid up. And I didn't take it very well. In fact, when I find the guy who did this to me, I'm going to tear him apart. Daddy, everybody who rents a limo and gets a hotel room after the homecoming dance is practically a senior class tradition. A what? It's not like Aaron and I have never seen this. <sighs> no one is going to drag my beautiful daughter to some no-tell motel, Daddy, okay? Daddy, you please keep it down? You're going to wake Cabot. All right, okay. Fine, no problem. Feed me. End of argument. Thank you. Welcome. What made you change your mind? Nothing. You're not going. 
I saw Rose's face that night when we caught Dusty with Molly. She was devastated, Paul, and angry. And then she turned around, went right to you, and boom, you're engaged. Doesn't that tell you something? Yes, it tells me that Rose finally figured out that Dusty is Dusty. She didn't give two seconds for it to sink in. She's upset still. She's on the rebound. No, she's not. She's... Jennifer, she's not. She... I got to her. I made her remember. I made her remember what we had. I made her laugh. And... I just need to get her away, that's all. Away from Barbara. Away from James. Somewhere where we can be together, where we can be who we are together. And what about your brother and your sister? We're only a phone call away. It's... Look, when you figure out that Barbara is a... When you finally see Barbara for who she is, you're always welcome to come live with me and Rose. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got something I gotta go do. Hey, you know, I, I'm taking Will to lunch. Why don't you come with us? I, I can't. Okay, well, I have him for the whole day. Come to dinner with us then. Jennifer, I can't. Please, tell Will that I'm sorry and promise him that I'll figure out a way to make it up to him, but I can't. You're going to Rose, aren't you? She is my fiance. <laughs> Jennifer. No, really, can you blame me for wanting to give her a kiss hello? Well, I just hope you don't have to push Dusty out of her bed to do it. Mitzi, thank goodness you're back. I've got a ton of inventory to go through. You really putting this place on the market? Yep. Swivel chairs and all. Talk to Lily about this? No. You got ads in the paper, you got a sign on the door. Don't you think you should consult with the people who bankrolled you? Lily knows I'm getting married to Paul, moving to Paris. Can't take the shop with me, so I'm selling. You're running. No. No, I'm not. I'm moving on to something better. A new life. You remember the day you came to me with your prospectus? I couldn't say one word to you without you busting my chops. This place was gonna be yours, done your way. You were fierce. Mm. You don't know anything about me. I was wrong to think that you did. Paul does. You can unload this place. You can kiss this whole town goodbye. But the fierce little girl inside you. Don't compromise. Constantly remind me that I slept with Molly. You're gonna keep telling me how dangerous Paul is. Yeah, and I don't want to ask you again not to go. I just say no. Yeah. And I won't be able to say goodbye. So.
I've got everything you need. Coming up on As the World Turns. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for this player to come in, right? It turns out to be my cousin's 18-year-old son. Aaron Snyder had a sit down with our bookmaker. Since it's my fault that Mike's life has been torn apart, it's up to me to put it back together again. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Are you one of the millions who feel twisted and bloated and constipated? Is your body telling you something's wrong, but you're not sure why? If you have recurring abdominal pain or discomfort, bloating and constipation, see your doctor. You may have a medical condition called IBS with constipation. And now there's a medicine for women that works at the source of the problem. Prescription Zelnorm. Only Zelnorm's proven to relieve the symptoms of IBS with constipation. Unlike laxatives and fiber, only Zelnorm helps coordinate the nerves, muscles, and fluid in your GI tract so it starts functioning more normally. And you can start feeling better. Zelnorm is only indicated for women, but it doesn't work in all women. You should not take Zelnorm if you have a history of diarrhea, kidney, liver, or gallbladder disease, intestinal blockage, or adhesions. Tell your doctor if you get diarrhea or cramping, worsening of abdominal pain, dizziness, or headache. Ask your doctor about getting relief with Zelnorm. Zelnorm, be yourself again. Pillsbury ready to bake cookies with Hershey's chocolate chips. Uh, baking sheet. Okay, got it? Just two simple steps. Get this one. Place and bake. Cookies! Pillsbury ready to bake cookies. Warm, moist. And now loaded with real Hershey's chocolate chips. So rich, so chocolatey. <laughs> Together, add cookies. You've been waiting to do this for years. Don't let arthritis pain keep you from not starting a little something, not making your move, not getting physical, not putting it together, not spicing things up, not loving the moment, not going for it all the way. Grab some Tylenol arthritis pain with the time release formula for continuous all day relief. It's the Tylenol for arthritis pain because not playing is not an option. Discover the diapers designed to fit your unique baby. Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. The baby shape diapers curve just like your baby. And our exclusive waistband hugs your baby's waist from tummy to tush and back again. Get all around fit and unbeatable leak protection. Get the baby shape diapers. Huggies Ultra Trim. Nothing hugs like Huggies. Tonight, Poland, New Hampshire may be a small town. I'm gay. But their secrets are big. You've been my friend for almost 40 years. You've been lying to me. The Brotherhood of Poland, CBS Tonight. Based on the Jackie Collins bestseller that exposed the secrets of Hollywood wives. You're my property. Farrah Fawcett. I want him out of my life. Melissa Gilbert and Robin Givens. To true love and divorce. <laughs> Jackie Collins, Hollywood Wives, The New Generation, CBS Sunday. Hey, coming right up on Living It Up with Allie and Jack, we have actress Tony Award winner Marissa Jarrett Winokur with us. That's right. If you have a kid who's a biter, a scratcher, a kicker, a vomiter, a dog food eater, we have the greatest expert to help you. Dan Rather with some great stories. I hear his wife dated Elvis. You stay with us. <laughs> My car was a piece of junk. It was noisy. It was rusty. And oil leaking as hot. Bad credit was holding me back. Call Lynch Chevrolet. When I called, I got credit. I could hardly believe it. Now I'm driving a great car. Don't wait. Do it now. Just call 773-427-3000. No more noise. No more rust. Nada. No more hassle. Call Lynch Chevrolet and get the financing you need. Or visit the Lynch Mile on Irving Park between Cicero and Central. We're Pepper's Bedroom City. The Pepper's Bedroom City going out of business liquidation is now entering its final weeks. Time is running out on the biggest brand-name bedroom furniture, bedding, and waterbed sale you have ever seen. Now, save at least 50%. That's at least 50% savings on everything in the store. It's the final weeks of the going-out-of-business liquidation at the last Pepper's Bedroom City stores in Crystal Lake, Joliet, Orland Park, St. Charles, and Cumberland and Irving in Chicago. 
Diane Burns and Antonio Mora, weeknights only on CBS 2 News. Don't miss Becker, tonight on CBS. It's all here. Oh, come on, sweetness. Of course you can go. Tonight is going to be wonderful, so please try not to ruin it. Besides, you really can't keep me from going to the dance. Unless, of course, you'd like me to move in with Grandmother. You threatening me? Is it working? Yes, but I don't like it. You resemble your mother when you do stuff like that. That's funny. I learned it from you. <gasps> Come on! Come on! Come on! You hear that? This is why I was so reluctant to have another child. They stab you in the heart and laugh. You won't do that, will you? Will you? You promise? Mm. He's not talking. No, you promised me you're not going to drink? Yes. You promised me you're not going to go to a car with anybody who drinks? I promise. You promised me you're going to spit up on Aaron, just like I'm teaching your baby brother to do? Daddy, that's disgusting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Still. I guess I know that Aaron is crazy about you. Otherwise, he wouldn't torture himself by going to a high school dance. I was hoping it wouldn't be that bad. Might even be kind of fun. Listen, guys like Aaron don't like to put on suits and make fools of themselves on the dance floor. Aaron doesn't mind dancing. He said he was looking forward to this. He told you that? Yeah. <laughs> well, he lied. Am I still doing that delivery? Hmm? Yes. Is there any, uh, any way I can do it now? I, I just don't want to mess up my date for tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that dance with your girl, huh? Yeah. A couple of C notes should help show a good time, right? Yeah. Wouldn't mind the extra cash, too, you know? You wouldn't mind. Sure, kid. You're gonna get another one of these when you get back, all right? Thanks. Easiest money you ever made. Sweet. Hey, hey, Waldo! Whoa, you must have taken a bath on that Monday night game. Hey, bet you didn't see that score coming, huh? <laughs> It'll take more than one bad game to break my bank. What can I do you for? Give me a beer, I'll be in the booth. I'm meeting someone's private. No problem. He just hit me, Katie, and left me there. He's probably drunk out of his mind. Or he's just an idiot. You know, he didn't, he didn't care that I, that I had a, um, a job or a life. Maybe he was scared. What? I mean, you know, when terrible things happen, people freak out. They don't think clearly. No, no, no. He saw me. At least a split second before he... He, he plowed into me. I, he slammed on his brakes. I'm so sorry. He had no was there. I'm so sorry. No, you know what? I'm sorry. You know, you go and you bring me flowers and stuff, and I'm dumping all this on you. No, I did this to you, Mike. I deserve it. What are you talking about? Well, you know, you were just trying to care for me, and I got so mad at you, and I, oh. I said I wished you were dead. Oh, I know. It's done. This is your fault. I, um... I put you in a really awkward position, you know, spouting off about how much I loved you. And, you know, I know what you've been going through. And, uh, I know that whenever you see me, you think about letting me, letting Simon die. No, I... And you hate me for it. I don't. I wish to God I had never said that, Mike. Uh, you're just telling the truth, you know? 
and I, and I wouldn't expect any, any less, anything less from it. But, you know, I don't want you trying to pretend like we're friends again just because I'm laid up. In fact, I really, I really wish you would. Thank you. Thank you for, um, for coming by. But don't come back. No, Mike, please don't say that. I understand. I understand. I really do. I only wish you did. Wait, when you leave here, are you going back to the lake house? I guess. The front step, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be in a wheelchair. No, Ben says I need to hire somebody. Like, um, combination cook, you know, physical therapist, driver. Is your insurance gonna cover that? You're right. Then use me. Please, Mike, I will work for you for free. You, you doing all this for me? For us. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, I missed you. Oh. Oh. Kill you for not calling me. Well, I was busy. To find us a place to live. And... So would a nice present make it up to you? Oh, what you got? Ooh. A little something. Expensive? Would there really be something wrong with it being expensive? If it's an engagement ring, it is kind of... Because I want this ring finger to go from naked to married. Nothing in between. We're not very good at in between. Well, oh, it's not a ring. What you complain about, would you look at it? Because yeah. I think you'll like it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. oh, Rose, and it's silk. Oh, I, I love it. It's beautiful. I had a calligrapher beautiful. right a little something. A what? Calligrapher. Oh. Oh. OK. Uh, Le Palisse de Cindelaire. Cindelaire <laughs> and De Rosy. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's, supp <laughs> it's supposed to be um, a French way of saying Rosie's Roller Palace. Oh, is that what it says? Well, not really. Oh. The artist's English was almost as bad as your French, so oh. it literally translates as a cylindrical palace of the one who turns pink. Oh, wow. Well, sounds like I make ball bearings while I'm flushed. It's just my little way of wondering if you'll still marry me, beauty shop owner. You think maybe we could transfer the Rosie's Roller Palace to Paris? I don't see why not. From now on, we get to be whatever we want to be. Do whatever we want to do. That's OK with you? As long as I get to be the guy who loves you. There are high quality nutrients all around us. Like the nutrients Rexol uses in our new line of vitamins and supplements. Rexol vitamins are made from the ingredients your body knows, loves, and uses naturally. And that makes a great vitamin a great value. Rexol vitamins and supplements. Available where quality supplements are sold. What's your vitamin made of? The three-in-one pillar candle from Glade. Starlit Garden has three individual fragrance layers. Moonflower, Lemon Lily, and Jade Orchid. Each designed to blend beautifully from one scent to the next. So you can enjoy three spellbinding fragrances in one enchanting candle. Glade three-in-one candles, because three scents are better than one. This dinner is looking a little flat. Why don't we jazz it up with Zatarain's Jambalaya instead? Tender long grain rice in a secret blend of New Orleans seasonings. Just add sausage, chicken, or shrimp, and you've got a flavor that's as bold as a New Orleans brass band. <laughs> hey, the boys are natural. Jazz it up with Zatarain.
heartburn? Yeah. I tried Pepsid AC, but it takes like 40 minutes to start working. Tom starts neutralizing acid fast. I'm taking Prilosec OTC. Read the label. That can take one to four days to fully kick in. Delayed release tablet. Delayed release. It should say delayed relief. Take Tom's. Nothing's faster. It's got the calcium I need. What more do you want? I want Tom's. Always fast, always calcium, Tom's. your case, Mr. Fife Walks. In the next 24 hours, we're breaking the rules. An all-new CSI. Then, a child prodigy disappears. Why would anyone want to take my daughter? There's hope of finding her, but the clock is ticking. I don't have time to screw around anymore. All-new without a trace after CSI Thursday. God wants Joan to build a boat. All these assignments instead of saving the world. Last time I asked someone to build a boat, it turned out to be saving the world. Joan of Arcadia, CBS Friday. Waldo, what's up? Your britches, kid. <laughs> kid, you, what's up? How you doing? I'm hanging in there. You want something? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Like I was saying, it's good to see you again, kid. So don't be shy. You want a burger, fries? Um. I didn't know we were going to be eating or anything. I'm kind of in a hurry. I know how it is, kid. I guess it's a bad time for a visit, then. So why don't we just do this some other time? Oh. Another time? OK. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll catch up on that frying fur thing later. OK. All right. I think I'm pushing Aaron into doing something he doesn't want to do? No, I think it's entirely possible that you're going to have a wonderful time, and I hope you do. And if you don't walk away with that crown, there is no justice in the world, because there is no soul more, more, more beautiful than you are. I love you, Daddy. I love you. Papoose, what do you think? Should Big Chief Daddy interfere? I concur. Us men folk have to look out for the women folk. OK, so here's the plan, amigo. You have to keep the ladies entertained while Big Daddy makes sure that Aaron is too busy to get busy with Lucy. You really okay with selling this place? A lot of ghosts, too many. You know what, Rose, we should just talk about it. Why don't we do it? Why don't we just talk about Dusty? Oh, why? Why? Why ruin it? It's so nice. Did you, did you talk to him when I was gone? You know, Rose, you can tell me anything. Yeah. by Lily's after you left. Uh, I told him that I wanted to be with you. And that was it. And he, he just accepted that. Well, he must have, because he just took off. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Dusty to me, to, you know, just accept something. You didn't 
He didn't try and talk to you, try and change your mind. Doesn't matter. Because I love you. <laughs> okay. My bride to be. How about you take the rest of the day off? Oh, I'd love to, but I gotta talk to Mitzi. And then after that, I'm all yours. Well, hurry up. I'm not hiring you to be my nurse. Why not? I work in a hospital. I don't want you to take care of me. Why not let me do it? Because... Uh, because I love you. I mean, don't you see? Whenever I look at you, I just see this... beautiful, bright... Funny woman that I adore. And I want you. My heart. My life. And I can't have that. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna settle for some well-meaning substitute. Just be practical, Mike. I'm offering you f three meals a day and, and clean sheets. Just let me do this, please. Thank you. But no. Maybe a moment along with Mike. Hey, what's that about? We were just saying goodbye. That determined look. Where are the tears, Katie? Did you tell Mike the truth? I couldn't. You were right. <gasps> Glory be in. Hallelujah. I was right about what? If I told Mike that I was the one driving the car that hit him, it would only make him feel worse. Oh, see, no, no, we're talking now. He'd probably think that I did it on purpose. Oh, no, come on. No, he wouldn't think that. It's going too far. I doubted myself. Why wouldn't Mike? You don't really want me to answer that, do you? Okay, look, what's this new look of resolve that you're wearing? I made a decision. Since it's my fault that Mike's life has been torn apart, it's up to me to put it back together again, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You know, every so often, a package like this is delivered right to my door. I like to think of it as my lifeline. You know, I have diabetes. These are my testing supplies. I check my blood sugar, and I check it often. Liberty Medical makes sure I have everything I need when I need it. Now, you may not know this, but if you're on Medicare, the cost of your diabetes testing supplies may be covered, whether you use insulin or not. Liberty makes it easy. They bill Medicare and your insurance company, so you have no paperwork. You pay nothing up front. Your supplies are delivered right to your door, no charge for shipping. So check your blood sugar as often as you should. And call Liberty. They can help you live a better life. For more information, call Liberty Medical at 1-800-793-8613. That's 1-800-793-8613. Call today. <laughs> Attention shoppers. Bananas starts with the letter B. Hey. <laughs> C. Corn. C. 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 Corn. Letters, phonics, A. math, and more. The smart shopper from Fisher Price. <laughs> it gives new meaning to shop till you drop. Up on aisle four. <laughs> I'm down to feel good. Hey. Marie Callender began every recipe the same way, with care. And her country fried chicken was no exception. Marie served it up with mashed potatoes, slowly whipped with real cream. And corn? Well, Marie thought it best eaten right off the cob. Marie Callender put her heart into everything she made. And to this day, we're still making it Marie's way. Marie Callender's country fried chicken dinner in your grocer's freezer. Made with the care of Marie.
Did you know Maxwell House original tastes fresher than the other leading coffee? And today, Maxwell House, and only Maxwell House, comes with the Easy Open Fresh Seal that locks in flavor and aroma. It's our freshest coffee ever. Taste coffee as fresh as the morning. Maxwell House coffee. And make every day good to the last drop. Please, open the door. You should have never messed with me, Colleen! My daughter may be in there, and I'm gonna find her. Please, someone help me. Colleen could be hurt in there. She could be dead. Don't say Colleen, Kevin, Brad, JT. Colleen! The Young and the Restless, this week. What's wrong? You are. You flew halfway across the world to help me find Simon. You risked your life to protect me. If you think I'm just gonna leave you hanging when you need me the most, you've got another thing coming. So you better get used to having me around Mike Kazanov, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to let you take care of me. You don't have a choice. I should have called you. What happened? Man, everything was going fine. Stakeout was going fine. Heard Waldo say the right. meat was on. And then I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this player to come in, right? It turns out to be my cousin's 18-year-old son. Aaron? Aaron Snyder had a sit down with our bookmaker. I'm sitting there sweating. I'm praying he doesn't hand him anything. And he didn't, right? No. Only because I got made. By who? I'm guessing the bartender. Jack, I don't need to remind you the feds are in no, on I know this. that. I know that. I can feel them breathing down my neck, but I gotta get to Aaron, right? Without, without blowing their case. How did Aaron get mixed up in a thing like this? I'm only guessing he got a job at Metro. I'll bet you dollars to donuts Donovan's involved. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter who's pulling the strings. If this thing goes down, you know as well as I do, Aaron is the one who's gonna take the fall. I don't know how it got messed up, man, but he wouldn't take the money. What did Waldo say? He was changing the subject a mile a minute. You know, first he's telling me if I want to sit down and have some tea, and, you know, and the whole time he's got his hand on my arm telling me, like, to put the money away. I don't know what to do. I got nervous. I just took off. Okay, good, good. Come on, you did the right thing. That's great. Here's your money back. No, you keep it. You make the drop later. Just not tonight, okay? Metro. Dusty, it's me. I need a favor. I'm listening. I need you to find a way to keep Aaron occupied tonight. romantic afternoon. Kind of a wait, right? considering your fiancé's heart belongs to someone else. <sighs> Must get tired, mother, of going down that same old road. Rose and I are in love. The only people that matters to are Rose and I. You are irrelevant. I have become immune. Well, I suppose you'd be immune to these as well. Rose and Dusty look so intimate, don't they? But perhaps she told you about this little encounter? Did she? Did she tell you that the moment you left town, she hooked up with her ex-lover? Those are old. <laughs> are they now? Well, no, 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 no. There's the, there's a for sale sign in the window. They were taken today. Oh, look. My favorite. the next as the world turns. Where did you get these? That Molly person. She knows how you got your child. She's gonna tell your wife. I don't want to keep Kevin up too late, so whatever it is that's so important, let's hear it. You want half? Sure. Hey. Your half's bigger. Yeah, you're right. Grand's flaky layers. <laughs>